What's happening folks and welcome to another episode of Stars of Tomorrow. If you're new to the channel, welcome to the series. It's the series where we look at young talent on Football Manager and we see how they get on the course of their careers. So help you out before you make that big purchase on a player and you get an idea if he's going to be suitable for you or not. If you want to get involved in this series, you can do down below by leaving a comment on the player you think should be included or looked at in this series. I would suggest you look at the playlist first. Just to make sure that play has not already been done, because if I don't see the comment for a, for a few hours and you think I'm going to do it, just, just you know, look at the playlist, make sure the play's not been done already, because that makes sense to do that. So, do apologize, guys. The PS4 is going to making noise in a second. Do apologize. So, um, today's player, before we get further, is one I've picked. But also, hit the like, like button and subscribe to the channel for more daily for daily content on the channel, most likely when I can. Down below, let's be the channel as well. So, today's player is, I'm going to balls it up completely, by the way, is Lucas Duata. I'm probably saying that completely wrong, but I'm going with it. And straight away, as you can see, um, the long shots stand out at 17 straight away. He's a French midfielder who's at RB uh, Red Bull Salzburg in Austria. He's just signed for them, so we're not going to do a transfer fee check because no point doing that um as you can see on the screen here he's not got release clause in his contract at the moment he has got a max potential rating of 170 which is uh not the highest not it's not it's, it's not locked to that it can be when i set this up it 160 when i started it but obviously up to the 170 so bear that in mind is that it's a variation of of a uh, potential ability not a locked ability so straight away you can see 17 long shots good determination nicely well-rounded physicals you're going to tell 18 years old with those kind of physical stats this could be a big attribute for him going forward at least in my opinion that's what it's going to be like but 17 long shots if you can make it if you can get to be a box box midfielder then there's definitely something to be said for that because long shots 17 that this highest long long shots i've seen on a player on day one of doing a review of him but what to say is about what is so valuation 6.4 to 19 million pounds. Let's go to the first jump. So, as you see, he's now into Milan. Um, he's I'm not sure how long he's been there for, I think he's been there one season, I think. And you can see not a massive increase at the moment in terms of stats. Um, long shot's still good, turnation's still good, physicals are starting to go a bit higher. He's got shoot from distance. That makes sense for a trait because you've got 17 long shots. I didn't check his um, weak foot and we, and strong foot in the last ju last section, but I'll do it now for you. Reasonable left foot, very strong right foot. So again, you could argue a two two foot. I always think reasonable or higher. I kind of consider him sort of two footed. It's it's not an issue really for me if it's, if it's reasonable or higher. So that's not too bad. For, that's not too bad for me. So. Injury record, so I'll look at it here, and you can see it's not too bad. I mean, I always say with this kind of thing, it's kind of your own opinion. Uh, and I always want to know, I always question myself, what is seen as injury prone? Is it amount, is it amount of injuries or severity? I would assume it's amount, but anyway. So, Red Bull Salzburg, he got one goal, seven assists in his first season there. Then he got two goals, three assists in his second season. Moved to Inter Milan for 24 point. Um, five million pounds and didn't really get much football which is probably why he's not getting much developed but he's starting to get a bit more football he's easy playing for them not if not regular uh, his current ability is set is currently at one four three so we've got a bit more to go and already you can see the passing isn't bad the market is good techniques not bad either good long shots good heading obviously six foot one helps with that um, good physical stats, mental stats, good team, good positioning, good off the ball, good vision, termination, dissipation. Could be a ball in midfielder, but I think those long shots you want, you want you'd want to utilize them, wouldn't you? Really? So I don't think there's any least clause in this contract. I mean, this kind of thing is not really that relevant in this kind of review because every so different. Once you hit continue, the the game's completely different every time, more often than not. Um, so yeah, um, I want to see. Him get first team football into Milan. I think there's more to come from him. Obviously, he's got a what's it, 30 points ish to go on his um, potential ability rating to hopefully see more from him. Let's see. Let's see if we do. All right. So now he's at, he's still at Inter Milan. And I think there's been an upsurge in his amount of football he's getting. And straight away, you can see the mental stats are insane. 17. Uh, look, look, look at them. I love I love how I've got the the, the kind of orange colour on the 
attributes on the higher ones because it makes it easier to glance, have a glancing view at it. Technical, they stayed relatively the same, but the mental stats are insanely high on like vision, positioning, determination, concentration, composure, anticipation. Physical stats are good as well. Still, still, still the same player traits. I'm assuming injuries have been okay, been relatively injury free. Other than that, what it's because of a normal injury list. That's not really anything concerning. So, uh, Inter Milan, has he, has he finally got a so £33.5 million deal total? So, did he finally get first in football after that season? A bit more than two goals, four assists. Then he got a bit more there, three goals, three assists. Then his first full, I'd say, full season with regular starts, five goals, 11 assists. And then this year, he got four and five. So, again, a really good player. I'm not sure what role they're playing him in. Um, they're saying DM. So I think if you were to play him as a more box to box, because he's got the stamina, he's got the stamina for it. He's got will create maybe not so much, but he's not terrible. He's hmm, determination, anticipation, long shots are there. Passing's good, technique's good, dribbling's not terrible either. He's got the page strength. Yeah, box to box could definitely be done. And I think those long shots you want in utilizing that. Um, and I think that'd be something that. Would be, would, be, would be very beneficial to you. I think you should... If you're using yourself, guys, let, let me know in the comment section. But I think there's more goals in this guy than we're seeing here. I think, obviously, in the DM role, you're not going to get into box as much. Maybe a set piece might be there, and it's a long shot maybe from that. Uh, but I think box to box is what I'd play him as. Um, unless I got someone way better than that in that position, of course. But that's something long shots has got to be utilised if you if you sign this guy. And I think the best way to do that would be to make it box to box. I don't think he's a playmaker. I don't think he's a Mazala. I think he's just a box to box because he's got the technique, he's got the work rate, he's got phys- he's got the physicality, he's got the stamina to do it. Yeah, I think box to box definitely. Right, one more job. I want to see if you can get double figures for a go- for a goal return for one season. All right, gone to Barcelona and the stats have relatively stayed the same. Um, where's he playing for Barcelona? DM still. Okay. Interesting. And stay basically the same stats really on, on, on the first on the first page. Obviously good ta- the, 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 the stats are technical very good now. Technique, tackling, passing, marking, long shot, heading, first touch, all good. So you could play in box to box, you could play in bone midfielder as well, or DM. You could do that, but again that long shot's got to be utilized, I feel. Same not that's basically the same. Um physical stats are basically the same, all thirty years old now. Uh, stamina and strength still very good. Injury record, I am assuming again there's nothing here to worry about. Yeah, I'm okay. So how did Barcelona? Well, how much did Barcelona sign in for? So we saw here four and five. And they got two assists that season. Next season, and they got five and eight, five goals, eight assists. That is six goals, twelve assists. And then this season at Barcelona, he's got two goals, sixteen assists. So for a player that they play, that they they played, they paid thirty five million for. I think this is a bargain. I said bargain. It's a good. It's a good deal. I think you can get more goals out of this guy from a more advanced midfield role. Um, but great physical stats, nice, well-rounded, very good mentals, and technicals are not bad either. Nice, solid mentals. A variety of options you can play in there. You could play a ball midfielder. You could play him as a deep line playmaker, maybe. Uh, but I would say box to box or ball midfielder would be the two I would go with. But your guys can your thoughts down below in the comment section on that as well. So, um, yeah, guys, if you have enjoyed the video, I hope you have enjoyed it. Uh, hit the like button down below. Subscribe if you're new as well. Don't forget, down below in the comment section, if you've got a player you want me to look at, feel free to leave, leave his name down below. His name, nation, age, position, club, all that kind of stuff, so I can find him easily. I would say, I can always say again, check the playlist down below. Make sure he's not been done already. And also, check out Let's Play, the Let's Play channel as well. And I'll catch you guys all in the next video. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.